also owns Harris Teeter, but will not be selling the CBD products in our area. Hmm. All right, Doug joins us now with the big changes coming our way in a matter of hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely hours. I mean, you're, you're going to be uh, going to bed tonight. A lot of people had the windows open last night. Right. It's mm -hmm. so nice out yeah. there. You mm -hmm. got it open tonight. You might be woken up by the rain. And, okay. You know, that's because we have some heavy rain coming in, not just the lighter rain that we'll see first in the form of showers, but then heavier rain coming in just during the overnight into early tomorrow morning. Right now, the one thing that's changed over the last few hours, the clouds really starting to move in. Still some high level clouds, maybe some mid level clouds starting to move in too. But right now, still some sun penetrating those clouds. 76 degrees, the current number. 74 at 7 o'clock, dropping to about the 67 by 11. And once again, the shower is moving in right around that time too. Radar or temperatures, temperatures in the mid 70s. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous today. Now we are below average. Average high temperature this time of year is 83, 84 degrees. So we're about five to 10 degrees below average today. Another below average day in June. And this is the first time I've shown you the radar in, in the last two hours that we actually start to see some rain. There it is right there, south and west of Fredericksburg. These are the first showers that'll start to come in. Here's the cloud cover moving in ahead of these showers and the shower activity just down to our south. You can see what's happening. We've got one storm down here in toward the Carolinas. This is an area of low pressure that's going to strengthen and move right up by 95, giving us the heavy rain overnight tonight. And then we've got this spin in the atmosphere. You can see what's happening around St. Louis. This is an upper level area of low pressure that's going to move on through the region tomorrow afternoon. That will give us another chance for some showers and maybe a couple of strong to potentially severe storms. So let's time it out for you tonight. Here comes just a few showers, 8, 9, 10, 11. If you're heading out, yeah, it's a good idea to take the umbrella. You probably won't need it for dinner, but uh, by the time you're making your way home, yeah, you might see some shower activity. By 3 a.m., if you're out at 3 a.m., everybody, on a Thursday morning, watch out. Yeah, we're talking some heavy rain here, but a lot of us start to wake up at 5.30, 6 a.m. Amelia Draper is going to be in for uh, News 4 today. She'll be she'll be on the, on the radar for you, and we're going to be talking uh, weather alert tomorrow morning, so heads up there. Look at the heavy rain. Hagerstown, right on down towards D.C., right on down towards Warrington at 530 through 7, 8 o'clock, right on through the district. So a mess of a morning rush for sure. A little bit of a break around 10, 11, 12, and then watch what happens in the afternoon. Here's 3 o'clock, a line of storms developing and really developing right along the I-95 corridor around 5 or 6. Once again, these could have some strong winds. The potential is there for some hail associated with this too as there is some colder air aloft with this storm. Now, by 6, 7 o'clock, it starts to move out. Still some shower activity, but we really start to see some, ch some changes is there. How about your school day forecast? Bus stop 62 degrees, showers, some rain likely around the bus stop, 74 cloudy at recess, and then the storm chances come up during the afternoon, most likely by the time the kids are home tomorrow night. So that's some uh, tomorrow afternoon. How about your gardening tip? Stop, stop crabgrass, Japanese stiltgrass, and other summer weeds from overtaking your lawn and garden. If you used weed preventer in April, it's time to make that second application. Thanks to those uh, at Merrifield Garden Centers, the experts there helping us with that across the region today. Now, 78 on Friday. Friday, 86 on Saturday. Here comes the heat. 90 on Sunday, 93 on Monday, but no longer calling for a heat wave. Looks like we'll stay just below 90 on Tuesday, but still rather warm and humid. 88 still on the hot side this time of year. Mm, all right, we'll take it, Doug. Thank you. Well, just hours after having a second surgery after he was shot, former baseball player David Ortiz is on the road to recovery. Ahead at five, his wife gives us an update on his condition as we learn more about the second man arrested in this case. Closed captioning brought to you by Belfort, Washington's largest furniture and mattress store. On the next access, the Keanu craze, why we suddenly could not get enough of him. Then what you need to know about rising star Tessa Thompson and our look at her style takeover. Next access. Tonight at 730 on NBC4. Belfort Furniture is your destination for quality furniture you won't find anywhere else. Shop our huge selection of best-selling brands like Bernhardt, Hooker, Kincaid, Lexington, Rowe, and more. Amazing selection. Incredible deals. You're going to love it. Customers from all over the D.C. area choose Belfort to find the styles they love for less. Belfort delivers to over 30,000 homes each year. Let's make yours next. Belfort Furniture, Washington's largest furniture and mattress store.